Hi dear students, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel Literature Insights, an easy platform to learn English language and literatures in English. As you know, our channel is mainly dedicated for weekly tutorial on English language and literatures in English. So now here it is very important to know the learners of English that I have made up earlier videos on organs of speech and functioning of organs of speech through three significant systems such as the respiratory system, the phonetic system and the articulatory system. So now here in this video I have come up before you with another significant topic from phonetics the active articulator and passive articulator. So now here this topic is based on organs of speech which we have seen earlier in my videos. So now here in articulation or production of any speech sounds in any language which organs we are using actively and passively that is important to know the learners of English for the comprehension and understanding of active and passive articulators. So now here in the context of phonetics it is important to know the learners what is articulation. So here to articulate means to produce any speech sounds in any language. So for the sake of production or articulation of speech sounds, we are using organs of speech. So in the articulation, some organs are active and some are the passive organs in articulation. The active articulators are the parts of the mouth, tongue and throat that are used significantly in the articulation of speech sounds in any language while production or articulation of speech sounds which articulators you are using so it is depend upon in which language you are speaking that may be english hindi marathi or any other language so now here for the production or articulation of speech sounds as we have seen air stream mechanism is required without air stream mechanism we cannot produce any kind of speech sounds in any language so for the sake of that the the active and passive articulators release the air from the lungs the active and passive articulators are modify the air into the speech sounds so while production or articulation of speech sounds it is essential to know the learners of english optional what are the active and passive articulators and what are their role in the articulation or production of speech sounds we use the lung ear in the process of articulation or production of speech sounds. So breathe in is called inhalation and breathe out is called exhalations. When we articulate any kind of sound at that time we can find that we are using the process of respiration, respiration in and respiration out, breathing in or breathing out. Breathing in is known as inhalation and breathing out is known as exhalation. When you pronounce or articulate any kind of sounds at that time you are using or going through the process of breathing in or breathing out. Without this process we cannot produce any kind of speech sounds in any language. The lungs modify the air into speech sounds. These organs that help to modify the air into speech sounds are called articulators. So now here it is important. When these organs help to modify the air into speech sounds that is called articulators. In the process of articulation which organs of speech are active and passive while production or articulation of speech sounds. So you should minutely observe that while production or articulation of speech sounds in any language. The organs of speech is divided basically into two parts active articulator and the passive articulator. So now here it is very important for the students or learners of English to make aware them with the basic distinct or basic difference between the active and passive articulators. So here it is important to know what is active articulator and passive articulators. The organs of speech which moves towards the passive articulators are called active articulators. When we articulate or produce any kind of speech sounds, so at that time we can easily observe that there are some organs works or moves actively in the articulation or production of speech sounds and another letter that is 
passive articulator the organs of speech which is not movable or static are called passive articulators so in the articulation or production of speech sounds we, we can easily find that there are some organs who are static or not movable in the articulation or production of speech sounds are called passive articulators so generally we can observe when we speak we are using mostly our lower jaw and upper jaw is a static or not movable lower jaw is always actively movable towards the passive organs of speech that is called active articulators and those are static or not movable that is called passive articulator so now here i have tried to define what is active and passive articulator so you can easily understand difference between these two articulator active and passive articulators all the parts of our roof mouth are passive organs because they are not movable or they are static in articulation or production of speech sounds the roof of the mouth has a three significant parts such as the teeth ridge is also known as the alveolar ridge the hard palate that is the bony surface and soft palate these are the three significant parts of the roof of the mouth so these three parts are passive articulators in the articulation or production of speech sounds the soft palate is movable and determines whether the sound is oral or nasal even though it comes under the category of passive articulators because it is located at the back part of the tongue that touches or raises towards it in the articulation or production of speech sounds so now here we have seen there is a exception in passive articulator the soft palate performing sometime actively in the articulation or production as a speech sound but even though it comes under the category of passive articulator the lower part of the mouth is active and movable in the articulation or production of speech sounds so the organs situated in the lower part of our mouth is called active articulators so in production or articulation of speech sound we can see that mostly our lower lip tongue always movable and active in articulation the tongue is highly flexible in articulation or production of speech sounds and we know that there are four significant parts of the tongue that, that are actively engaged in the articulation or production of speech sounds so now here are some of the most important parts of the tongue the tip of the tongue blade of the tongue the front part of the tongue and the back part of the tongue plays significant role in production or articulation of speech sounds all these four parts are active articulators in the production or articulation of speech sounds in any language so now here when we articulate or uh, produce any speech sounds in any language we can observe that our lower jaw is active whereas the upper jaw is a passive or a static in the process of articulation or production of speech sounds in any language so now here we know that most of the active articulators are situated in the lower jaw and passive articulators are located in upper jaw now here for the comprehension or understanding of the students what is active articulator and passive articulator let's take an example of the word cat when we pronounce the word cat we are using two pair of articulators in the production or articulation of word cat so one pair of articulator is active whereas the other is a static or not movable so the earlier articulator is called active articulator and the latter one is called as passive articulator so now here when we pronounce or produce the word cat at that time we can easily observe that our lower jaw is actually moving towards the passive articulators of upper jaw so now here we can find lower jaw is active in the articulation or production of the word cat so now here when we produce the word cat we can easily observe that we are using the tip of the tongue in the articulation of cat whereas 
we are using the teeth reach or alveolar reach in the articulation or production of speech sounds so here we can find that the tongue is active articulator and teeth reach is a passive articulator in the articulation of the word cat so now here you can also take any example of the word so you can uh, personally examine through your production or articulation or pronunciation of any word in any language so you can easily identify the basic difference between active articulator and passive articulators let's take an another example of consonants t d n s when we articulate or produce t d n s sounds or consonants in articulation or production of these consonants we can easily find that when we pronounce t we are using actually the tongue the tongue moves towards the passive articulators the teeth reach or alveolar reach so when you pronounce t d n s so you can easily observe that the tongue is actually moving towards the teeth reach or alveolar reach that is passive articulators so now here in the articulation of consonants t d n s you can find that the tongue is active articulator whereas the teeth reach or alveolar reach is a passive articulator let's take another example when we articulate the sound f in the word fat when we pronounce fat in the articulation or production of fat word we can easily find that in the production of f sound the lower leaf is actually moving towards the upper teeth so in this process of articulation we can find that the lower leaf is active articulator and the upper teeth is passive articulators so this is the basic difference between active and passive articulators so let's study with your own examples by using your own words what is the difference between active articulators and passive articulators you can easily note down what are the active articulators and what are the passive articulators located in your mouth i hope you understand this video on active and passive articulators so here i have tried to define you what is the basic difference between active and passive articulators what is articulator so here i have given some of the examples with the help of these examples i try to explain you the basic difference between active and passive articulators if you like my videos on active and passive articulators please share like and subscribe my youtube channel literature insights among your friends and fraternity of english language and literatures in english thank you for watching